Good day YouTube, RB Solar here. Today we are going to do an experiment. We are going to make a DIY power bank using this module. This is a DC boost converter. The details is, uh, look for the details. Says here in the details that the input voltage of this uh, module is 2 to 5 volts DC. Says that it has a high conversion efficiency maximum of 96%. Let's see about that. Output voltage 5 volts DC. Output current is 5 to 600 milliamps. It says here that it has a USB port uh, with a working indicator light. It says here that a 1AA battery power supply can output current up to 200 to 300 milliamp. If you are going to use two AA batteries, uh, to the output current will produce 500 to 600 milliamps. This is what uh, the details of the di this module. This is what it looked like in the picture, and this is the actual module. See, so why do we need this module to make a DIY power bank? We need this module because if we are going to use 18650 battery like this one this only has 3.7 volts up to 4.2 volts fully charged so it is not able to charge a, a gadget that usually requires 5 volts up to 5.4 or 5.5 volts to start charging so if you have this 18650 batteries you need a boost converter this will boost the voltage of an 18650 battery up to 5 volts that is required to charge a gadget. So, let us check the voltage of this 18650 battery. See what is the actual voltage of this battery right now. Okay, negative 2 positive so the voltage of this battery is 4.1 or 4.11 so it is not fully charged but it is almost full charge so that is not enough to charge the gadget so let us try to connect the battery to the, to the module using this okay like that so you must be careful with the polarity when you connect this device because we can we can damage this module if we put the leads incorrectly so let us see where the positive goes and the negative so this is the positive and this is the negative so let's connect the red clip to of course the positive and the black to the negative see it has an led indicator a red led indicator that uh, is said in the details that it has so it lights up once you connect the leads or the power supply correctly then uh, let us check the output using this usb charger doctor says here and see what is the output voltage so it becomes 5.07 volt so from 4.11 volts it is boosted up to 5.07 volts so let us see if this voltage is able to charge a cell phone 
I have a cell phone here and let us connect the cord to the charging module so the cell phone lit up let us see what happened okay the cell phone is booting but it's not drawing any current as of now so let us try to open the cell phone see it's booting I, I, I just put it away from the view so that uh, my passcode is not seen okay so it is booting it's booting now and still it says it's it has 5.06 volts it's taking okay so it says 74 percent it's not charging So it's not working okay I just checked the this USB doctor it appears to be that it has a problem in the connection of the USB so you have to uh, find the right connection because it, it, it is loose that is why it's not showing any any current draw before uh -huh, again like that it's now drawing three hundred forty milliamps Uh, 360 370 390 okay so at is as the gadget or a cell phone draws near to full charge it draws less amperage so i think this is this is just enough for emergency you can use this to charge your gadget if you have some 18650 lying around you want to make a power bank for emergency so that's it guys thank you very much hope this uh, will help you hope this video is helpful if you like this kind of videos please support this channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that we can make more videos like this in the future. Uh, hope to see you again guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.